A definite description is a denoting phrase in the form of the X, where X is a noun phrase or a singular common noun. The definite description is proper if X applies to a unique individual or object. For example, the first person in space, and the 42nd President of the United States of America, are proper. The definite descriptions, the person in space, and the senator from Ohio, are improper because the noun phrase X applies to more than one thing, and the definite descriptions, the first man on Mars, and the senator from some country, are improper because X applies to nothing. Improper descriptions raise some difficult questions about the law of excluded middle, denotation, modality, and mental content. Topic. Russell's analysis As France is currently a republic, it has no king. Bertrand Russell pointed out that this raises a puzzle about the truth value of the sentence, The present king of France is bald. The sentence does not seem to be true, if we consider all the bald things, the present king of France isn't among them, since there is no present king of France. But if it is false, then one would expect that the negation of this statement, that is, it is not the case that the present king of France is bald, or its logical equivalent, the present king of France is not bald, is true. But this sentence doesn't seem to be true either. The present king of France is no more among the things that fail to be bald than among the things that are bald. We therefore seem to have a violation of the law of excluded middle. Is it meaningless, then? One might suppose so, and some philosophers have, see below, since the present king of France certainly does fail to refer. But on the other hand, the sentence, the present king of France is bald as well as its negation, seem perfectly intelligible, suggesting that the present king of France can't be meaningless. Russell proposed to resolve this puzzle via his theory of descriptions. A definite description like the present king of France, he suggested, isn't a referring expression, as we might naively suppose, but rather an incomplete symbol that introduces quantificational structure into sentences in which it occurs. The sentence the present king of France is bald. For example, is analyzed as a conjunction of the following three quantified statements. There is an X such that X is currently king of France. X K X display style exists X K X using K X for X is currently king of France. For any X and Y, if X is currently king of France and Y is currently king of France, then X equals Y i.e. There is at most one thing which is currently king of France x y k x k y x equals y display style for all x for all y k x land Kentucky right arrow x equals y for every x that is currently king of France x is bald x k x B X display style for all X K X right arrow B X using B for bald. More briefly put, the claim is that the present King of France is bald. Says that some X is such that X is currently King of France, and that any Y is currently King of France only if Y equals X, and that X is bald. X K X Y K Y y equals x b x display style exists x kx land for all y kentucky right arrow y equals x land bx this is false since it is not the case that some x is currently king of france the negation of this sentence i e the present king of france is not bald is ambiguous it could mean one of two things depending on where we place the negation not on one reading, it could mean that there is no one who is currently king of France and bald. X K X Y K Y Y equals X B X Display style L N O T exists X K X land for all Y Kentucky right arrow Y equals X land B X 
On this disambiguation, the sentence is true since there is indeed no X that is currently King of France. On a second reading, the negation could be construed as attaching directly to bald, so that the sentence means that there is currently a king of France, but that this king fails to be bald. X K X Y K Y Y equals X B X Display style exists x k x land for all y Kentucky right arrow y equals x land l n o t b x. On this disambiguation, the sentence is false since there is no x that is currently king of France. Thus, whether the present king of France is not bald is true or false depends on how it is interpreted at the level of logical form if the negation is construed as taking wide scope as in the first of the above it is true whereas if the negation is construed as taking narrow scope as in the second of the above it is false in neither case does it lack a truth value so we do not have a failure of the law of excluded middle the present king of france is bald i e x k x Y K Y Y equals X B X display style exists X K X land for all Y Kentucky right arrow Y equals X land B X is false because there is no present King of France. The negation of this statement is the one in which not takes wide scope. X K X Y K Y Y equals X B X display style L N O T exists X K X land for all Y Kentucky right arrow Y equals X land B X. This statement is true because there does not exist anything which is currently King of France. Topic. Generalized quantifier analysis Stephen Neal, among others, has defended Russell's theory, and incorporated it into the theory of generalized quantifiers. On this view, the is a quantificational determiner like some, every, most, etc. The definite description the has the following denotation using lambda notation. Lambda F Lambda G X F X equals one Y F Y equals one Y equals X G X equals one Display style lambda f lambda g exists x f x equals one land for all y f y equals one right arrow y equals x land g x equals one. That is the definite article that denotes a function which takes a pair of properties f and g to truth if and only if there exists something that has the property f. Only one thing has the property f, and that thing also has the property g. Given the denotation of the predicates, present king of France, again k for short, and bald b for short. Lambda x k x display style lambda x k x lambda x B X display style lambda X B X. We then get the Russellian truth conditions via two steps of function application. The present king of France is bald is true if and only if X K X Y K Y Y equals X B X Display style exists x k x land for all y Kentucky right arrow y equals x land b x. On this view, definite descriptions like the present king of France do have a denotation. Specifically, definite descriptions denote a function from properties to truth values. They are in that sense not syncategormatic or incomplete symbols, but the view retains the essentials of the Russellian analysis, yielding exactly the truth conditions Russell argued for. Topic. Phrygian analysis 
The Phrygian analysis of definite descriptions, implicit in the work of Frege and later defended by Strassen among others, represents the primary alternative to the Russellian theory. On the Phrygian analysis, definite descriptions are construed as referring expressions rather than quantificational expressions. Existence and uniqueness are understood as a presupposition of a sentence containing a definite description, rather than part of the content asserted by such a sentence. The sentence the present king of France is bald, for example, isn't used to claim that there exists a unique present king of France who is bald, instead, that there is a unique present king of France is part of what this sentence presupposes, and what it says is that this individual is bald. If the presupposition fails, the definite description fails to refer, and the sentence as a whole fails to express a proposition. The Phrygian view is thus committed to the kind of truth value gaps and failures of the law of excluded middle that the Russellian analysis is designed to avoid. Since there is currently no king of France, the sentence the present king of France is bald fails to express a proposition, and therefore fails to have a truth value, as does its negation, the present king of France is not bald. The Phrygian will account for the fact that these sentences are nevertheless meaningful by relying on speaker's knowledge of the conditions under which either of these sentences could be used to express a true proposition. The Phrygian can also hold on to a restricted version of the law of excluded middle, for any sentence whose presuppositions are met and thus expresses a proposition, either that sentence or its negation is true. On the Phrygian view, the definite article the has the following denotation using lambda notation. Lambda F x F x equals one Y F Y equals one Y equals x Display style lambda f exists x f x equals one land for all y f y equals one right arrow y equals x the unique z such that f z equals 1 display style f z equals 1 that is the denotes a function which takes a property f and yields the unique object z that has property f if there is such a z and is undefined otherwise the presuppositional character of the existence and uniqueness conditions is here reflected in the fact that the definite article denotes a partial function on the set of properties it is only defined for those properties f which are true of exactly one object it is thus undefined on the denotation of the predicate currently king of France, since the property of currently being king of France is true of no object, it is similarly undefined on the denotation of the predicate senator of the U.S., since the property of being a U.S. senator is true of more than one object. Mathematical <laughs> logic <laughs> 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 Following the example of Principia Mathematica, it is customary to use a definite description operator symbolized using the turned, rotated Greek lower case iota character. The notation x phi x display style x phi x means the unique x display style x such that phi x Display style phi x and psi display style psi x phi x display style x phi x is equivalent to there is exactly one phi display style phi and it has the property psi display style psi x y phi Y Y equals X Psi X Display style exists X for all Y Phi Y I F F Y equals X land Psi X Topic See also Vacuous truth Philosophy of language Analytic philosophy Bertrand Russell John Searle Topic References Donilan Keith Reference and Definite Descriptions 
In Philosophical Review 75, 1966, 281-304. Neal, Stephen, Descriptions, MIT Press, 1990. Osterdig, Gary, ed. 1998, Definite Descriptions, A Reader Bradford, MIT Press, includes Donilan, 1966, Chapter 3 of Neal, 1990, Russell, 1905, and Strassen, 1950. Reimer, Marga and Bazuidenhout, Anne, eds. 2004, Descriptions and Beyond, Clarendon Press, Oxford Russell, Bertrand, On Denoting, in Mine 14, 1905, 479-493. Online text Strassen, P. F., On Referring, in Mine 59, 1950, 320-344. External links Zalta, Edward N. Ed. Descriptions. Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy.